Just look at this wonderful, wonderful yarn bar. How did I end up with it? Well, I tried a yarn related life hack. Dealing with this yarn bar gave me the idea to maybe review some some crochet knitting yarn related life hack. Today I will show you one yarn hack that is a complete failure and some that are I would say a complete success. So let's start with the fun part, the failure. Basically the idea is to use your hand mixer to wind your yarn into a ball very fast. Somehow I thought it was a good idea. I managed to wind three or four balls this way, but, but when it came to using them, it turned out the yarn slips off the sides of the, of the ball and of the tippy roll like crazy. And that's how I ended up with this yarn bar. You just can't unwind it easily. And it seems I somehow slightly damaged my mixer in the process. But then I saw you can wind your yarn also using your stand mixer and it made a bit more sense to me because the motion it it does looks kind of like the motion of the yarn winder. So I tried this approach. And as you can see, it does wind. <laughs> But uh, it's not even that much faster than uh, winding your balls by hand. And the ball you get as the effect is really not pretty. It does seem to unwind in a less messy way than the previous one. But I wouldn't call it a good life hack. I think mixers using... A dough netting extensions uh, that are shaped in a different way than mine might work better but I tried adjusting for it by uh, using something else instead of the uh, of the extension and it didn't work as well so for me it is a failure so let's go to more successful hacks one of them for me definitely is super speedy needle threading technique you need to wrap your yarn around the needle and pinch it tightly. Then remove the needle and simply put the eye of the needle over the folded piece of thread sticking out of your fingers. And that's it. Works almost every time if your uh, needle is big enough. No matter what yarn you use. I had a ton of uh, ends to weave in the scrap blanket you can see in the background and it really made it super quick and super simple for me. The next life hack allows you to triple your single strand of yarn. I can definitely recommend this one as I use it very often. Fold a piece of the end of your yarn then fold it the second time so you have three strands and pull the strand coming from the skein through the loop uh, created by the remaining two strands. Repeat the process as you go. This way we're basically creating a very stretched out crochet chain. Once you've got your three strands, you can just start crocheting with them. And if you ever run out of your three strands, just pull the one going from the skin again through the loop. 